know your life is going to be a blessing. God bless you. Amen. 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 We thank God so much for today. Amen. 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 The devil wanted to delay the process, but God has been good. Hallelujah. Amen. And so today we are here to give you the knowledge of his word. Amen. The knowledge of his word. Mm. And I know that this word will transform you. Amen. 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 Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you so much and I bless you for such a wonderful day. We hold every activities of the devil and we break every networking of the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. I ask that you release your strength over our lives, that we may feed people with the right information. Amen. That anything that is of you, we cancel it in Jesus' in name. In Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. 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 Now, I'm here to speak to you about a simple thing. Amen. Amen. It's very simple. The difference that oil and horn can make. Mm. The difference is that oil and horn can make. Amen. Now we are talking about fill that horn with oil. Oil. Fill that horn with oil and go. Now this is something I want you. This is something I want you to know. Mm. The differences that the horn and the oil makes. Amen. Amen in people's life. Mm. Now the Bible says that and God spoke to a man called Samuel mm. and said prophet Samuel how long for how long are you going to mourn for Saul for I rejected him I've rejected him from being a king or reigning over the kingdom. Mm. And the Bible said God instructed him feel Amen. Amen. Now, if you have a Bible, let's turn our Bibles to First Samuel chapter sixteen. Mm -hmm. I want I want to explain one or two things over there. Fill that horn with oil. Fill your horn with oil. Now, the word "fill" in the dictionary said, it said it means that you are filling an empty space. Okay. There's a hole that has been created. There's a space that has been left by the devil and other things. Mm. Life has cost you so much and that thing has, le has left something in there that you need to feel. Mm. And so Bible said that and Saul made a mistake and there was a gap. And that gap need to be felt by what? By God. Mm. And so the Bible said and God said to Samuel, fill your horn and go. It means that go and fill the gap that have been created by Saul. Mm. Fill the gap. The space. That have been created, the vacuum that have been created, mm. fill that gap and go, fill that your horn and go. And go. And Bible said that Saul was in trouble because God has already rejected him from the seat. Mm. Now, whenever God rejects some people, mm. he also ordained people Ordain. to take mm, over. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Whenever God rejects people, he ordains people to take over. Amen. Now, it is people's mistakes that causes God to also introduce another person mm. into the limelight. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm, amen. It is people's mis mistakes that cause God to introduce another people to take over. Mm. And the Bible said that God has already made his mind. Now listen to this. The people were asking God for king and God gave them what they want. Mm. And Bible said that God found somebody who is after his heart. Mm. Amen. Amen. Now the reason of this message is that God has indeed found you. You are the one that God is looking for mm. because God has noted that you there's an empty space that needs to be filled. Amen. 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 There's something that you're going through in your life. Mm. There are things that people have done to you and it has created a hole. Mm. But God wants that gap to be filled. Amen. And I'm telling you, don't miss up this program. Mm. Don't just say, I am tired. It is a conference where people, where the men of God are going to feed you with information that will put you on top. Amen. Your homes are going to be filled. Amen. And when your homes are being filled, it means that you, the empty space I is filled. Amen. 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 Now, let me read the Bible. Help me read the Bible. Help Okay. Mm -hmm. First Samuel chapter 16. Yes. And the Lord said unto Samuel. That's it. Mm -hmm. How long will thou mourn for Saul? For how long are you going to cry on certain issues? Mm. Why God has already damned that thing? Or mm. why God has already rejected that man? Okay. Why God has already refused that thing? Mm. The, 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 the situation or the condition or the thing that you've been praying about for quite a long time, the man you've been dealing with, some have been already been rejected. Mm. But God is looking to fill the gap that was created by somebody, mm. that was done by the evil spirit, mm. that was done by the, 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 the spiritual things that mm. cause you. Mm. I am telling you today, that gap needs to be filled. Amen. And when that God is filled. I am telling you, you are going to reign over every, every off situation. Amen. There's nothing that you cannot do. Mm. There's nothing that you cannot override. Yes. There's nothing that you cannot overcome. Yes. Because the Bible says, he that is born of God shall overcome. Amen. So when the oil comes in you, it means that a new thing 
has been replaced in you. Amen. David said, create in me a, a clean, clean heart, heart and renew the right spirit. Redeem so when the, when the mm. spirit of God comes in you, it means that you are going to do exploits. You are going to do something that you think you cannot do. Amen. 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 Now look at the differences that the oil and the horn can create or can okay. make. Listen to this. The Bible says that there was a man whom they have rejected, whom they have thrown out of the family, whom he was taking care of the father's sheep. And the Bible says that the man was not even in the house. So when we are talking about men who lives in the house, he was not part of it. Mm. Now God is always looking for people that have been rejected by men to make them somebody. Okay. Mm. God is always looking for people that have been rejected by men to put them on the throne. Amen. And the Bible says that he was not connected to the throne. Mm. He was not part of the kingdom. And when we talk about people who want to inherit the kingdom, he was not part of it. Okay. But what you don't respect is what God will use to honor his name. Amen. What you don't respect. Bible mm. said, and the man was thrown out. He was not respected. But when, when Saul made a mistake, God went in for him. Amen. Look at this thing. And God said what? Uh -huh. And the Bible mm. said what? Yes. Repeat for how it. long would that mourn for Saul? That's it. Uh -huh. Seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fill thy horn with oil mm. and go. Fill thy horn with, with oil. 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 I have rejected Saul, the one who is ruling the kingdom. The one who is dominating over your life. The one who is dictating your future for you. I've already rejected the person. Mm. Now, any man that is against you is against God. Okay. I'm mm. telling you. Any man that is against you is against God. Okay. Because the Bible says you are the apple of his eye. Mm. And he that touches you has touched the I eye touch of the him. Lord. And so whoever is against you is against the Lord. Amen. And Bible says that the ruler, the, the one who was a king, who has been set as a king over the kingdom, God said, I have rejected him from being a king over my people. He can no longer rule my people. Mm. I am here to make a spiritual announcement and physical announcement to you. Look, whoever that is ruling your life, whoever that is detected for you, today by the word of the Lord, Nobody can rule your life again. Amen. God is taking over. God is taking over Amen. now. Because your homes are going to be filled. And when your homes are filled, I am telling you, you become so powerful. Amen. God said, beloved, I wait that I, I may impart mm. unto you spiritual gifts. Amen. It means that you need a gift to proceed. You mm. need a gift to do something great for your life. Okay. You are not achieving anything because your, 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 your space has not been filled. Okay. There's emptiness in your heart. Mm. You are always crying. Mm. You are always lamenting. Mm. This is the time of no you sitting down to lament. Mm. This is the time of you coming around to Amen. fill your home Amen. because when your homes are filled i am telling you god can do something good for Amen. you god can do something better for you Amen. something that you don't de even deserve jesus. god can put it on you amen thank you jesus fill your home and go and go fill your home and, and go. go now the home here stands for it's an emblem of power a symbol of power okay Amen. Amen. So if the Bible says at home, it means that something that needs to take dominion. Mm. Now in the ancient days, if you have an altar, the altar needs to be built with what? With horns. Yeah, now the horns also bring some kind of aroma, some smell of mm. blood. Are you okay. with me? So when the, when the blood comes around, there's, there's a presence that comes. I am speaking to somebody. Whom an, an, an altar has been lifted against you. Jesus. Today, every negative altar shall be broken. In Jesus and name. the horns of the Lord shall be lifted on you. Amen. David said, my horns shall be exalted. exalted. And my horns are like unicorn horns. Mm. From today, may God give you that strength to overcome Amen. everything. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So when the oil comes on you, you will tend to become another man. Amen. Your destiny will change. Amen. Your future will change. Amen. And that thing that you, you plan to do, you start doing them. Amen. Because God is about to turn your life around. Amen. The Bible says that David was not just a man cast out and thrown out into the bush. But Bible say that when God was talking about this thing, he made mention of his name mm. in Psalm 89. He said, I have found somebody after my heart. Hey. And God has found you. Amen. And you are the one God is looking for. Amen. The oil is in for difference. Amen. The oil will turn you for good. Amen. The oil will transform your life. Amen. It will give you a better life. Amen. Wherever you find yourself. Tonight is the night. Amen. We are meeting in the house tonight yes. from 7 to 10. Amen. And the homes are going to be filled. Amen. Amen. Uh, seven horns in the house. Yes. And I want to, I'm going to introduce the horns in the house. Amen. And when the horns are being lifted in the house, hey. I am telling you, every enemy will leave you. you every Jesus. stubborn situation will leave you. you every curses will be broken. You, every Jesus. hand will be taken away from you. you. And the pro uh, projection and end the pronouncement, God will stand against Amen. it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am telling you, let your horns be filled. Mm. It means that you need to be filled Amen. to the brim. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Fill thine horn with oil. Come on. Uh-huh. And go. Uh-huh. I will send thee to Jesse, mm-hmm. the Bethlehemite. Specifically, I will send you to a particular house. Now, it is so by accident that you are listening to me. Okay. It is so by accident. Mm. Specifically, God was leading this man into a special house. Amen. Amen. He said, go to Jesse's house. Now, it is you who is watching this TV. It is you who is who have been stuck to this TV. God wants something to change in your life. Mm. That is why you are watching. It's not by accident. Mm. It's not by anything. He wants you to watch this thing and know that you are empty and know that things are not working for you. You've been in the country for 20 years, mm. 15 years, and nothing is working. There's a space that has been created by the devil. You don't even know how to start and where to start from. Okay. Life has become so difficult mm. and you don't know where to go. Yes. You don't know even what to, what, who to speak to. I am telling you, don't speak to any man. Come to Gospel of Christ International Prayer Ministry. Let us meet tonight and God that we serve will change your life. Amen. I know, I know. You may not, you may think that, oh, why is this invitation going round and round? Let me tell you something. It's because God wants to do something great in your Amen. life. He wants to change your life. Amen. He wants to make the poor rich. Amen. Oh my God. He wants to make the poor rich. Amen. And he wants to change you for good. Amen. The man was so poor. The man was cast out. He was just taking care. He was a shepherd, taking care of the sheep. Oh my God. He was not connected. He has no connection. He has no hope. Okay. He was in the bush, taking care of the bush. And Bible says, according to the scripture, he became a bushman and bush prophet. Mm. Nobody has respect. That is what is happening to you. People don't even respect you. They don't even recognize you as anything. When they are even coming for a meeting, your name is not even mentioned mm. because you don't have anything. Family has rejected you. Mm. Friends has rejected you. Mm. They've thrown you out. Mm. God has instructed a servant mm. to fill a horn and, and change your destiny. Amen. To fill a horn and change your life. Amen. Your life needs to be changed. Amen. I say your life needs to be changed. Amen. Amen. Your life must Your change. Your life needs to change. Your life needs to be changed. Amen. I am telling you, it is not the hands of men, but it's the oil of the Lord of the that Lord. can change your life. Amen. The Thank oil you, stands Jesus. for the Holy Spirit. Amen. So when the Holy Spirit comes on you, everything about you will change. Mm. Everything about you will change. Amen. This program, I, want, I don't want you to miss it. Mm. Get the numbers. Give me a call. Walk straight to the house. Tonight, let us meet. Wherever you find yourself, wherever you are in London, just come. Come, and the homes will be littered in the house. Amen. And every old situation, you write about it. Amen. 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 Yes, read the Bible. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me mm. a king among his sons. He has done what? Provided me a king among when his God sons. When God wants to introduce oil, he always makes provision for people. Okay. Now, it since the beginning of the, of the, of the scriptures, I have noted something in the scriptures that whenever God ordains or takes people from certain mm. place, he makes provision for them. Amen. The Bible says that, and look at Abraham. He got to a time of his sacrifice, and Bible said he did what the Lord wants him to do. And God said, I have made the provision for you. Amen. Woman, if you make a decision to come around, a provision has already been made for Amen. you. Amen. Maybe they are throwing you, are, they are taking you out of your house. I am telling you, don't panic. God has made a provision for Amen. you. Amen. Maybe you, you, you're being, they said they want to sack you. They want to sack you from your, where you work. I am telling you, a provision has been made for Amen. you. God is in for you today. He wants to work for you. Just that you need to make a step and come. Though there will be some obstacles, some things will, things will stand against you, but make sure that you make you make a way to that place. Amen. Because if you let that situation not cripple you, you cannot get anywhere with your life. Mm. Look at the man. The Bible said, and so someone said, I cannot go. I cannot go and ordain this man. Because when so he has this information, he will kill me. Mm. 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 If God is in for business, nobody can stop him. Amen. I'm telling you, God wanted to change a life. If God wants to change you, nobody can stop you. Amen. If God wants to transform you, nobody can stop Amen. you. Amen. I don't know where you are in London, but I'm meeting you today. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to stay home. Let the homes and the oil mix difference in your life. Amen. Let it change your life today. Amen. I'm telling you, if you allow yourself to be crippled by the situation, you will not get anywhere with your life. Mm-hmm. Don't be intimidated by anybody. Mm. Don't be inti- don't, don't let people tell you that don't move, don't go. I'm telling you, make a move. Make a move. Make a move. Make a move. Because the oil is in for a difference now. Amen. I am waiting for somebody. Without you, the oil cannot work. Mm. So when you get around, the oil will work. Amen. I am telling you, the oil will work. Amen. Let us get into the church. Let us pray tonight. And I believe that God is going to change your life. Amen. And your life will never also remain the same. Remain the I'm same. telling you, just read the Bible. Amen. Mm-hmm. And Samuel said, mm-hmm. how can I go? If so, hear it. 
he will kill me. And the Lord said, mm -hmm. take an haifa with thee mm. and say, mm -hmm. I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. Mm. And all Jesse, and call Jesse mm -hmm. to the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And I will show thee 